how did I get into Web3? It all started um, back uh, at the university. Uh, once I finished university, I had this friend of mine that was looking into Ethereum actually back in the day. But my very first immersion heads on onto a blockchain, it was Polkadot. So what interested me about Polkadot um, was that it was proposing a solution that was really trying to scale in a massive way. It was trying to rethink what is it that we wanted to achieve with this technology. I understand that adoption is not there 100% right now, but Rome was also not built in one day, right? Not either Web2 was built in one day, it took a long time. And I think that Web3 is going, is progressing in that same direction. Personally, I think that one thing that we need to do right now is we need to make it a lot easier for people to use, right? It's still quite complicated, it's intricate. There's like a lot of like bits and pieces that one needs to sort to get to like using this. And I think that um, a lot of discussions are happening, a lot of technology is being put in place to sort this out. For people that are not very deaf-minded and are approaching Polkadot for the first time, I'd say that it's good to start understanding what it offers versus what you see out there, right? So the ability to do transactions very, very fast, uh, having confirmations in less than six seconds, uh, understanding that the fees that you pay are extremely low, that you have a community that you can interact with very easily. These things, I think, will set us apart for like non very dev oriented community, just using the system. So for devs that are looking around into different blockchains, um, we wanted to say, hey, look at Polkadot, right? I'd say that Polkadot offers you a lot of flexibility on how to build, right? So you can start small and powerful, right? So you can still like get all the all the tools that Web3 has to offer, right? With a very small scale so that you can try your ideas out, but then you can scale that very, very fast together with your business, right? So Polkadot accompanies you all along the way and has that flexibility for you, right? So you can start as a smart contract on Polkadot. You can then move to a parachain. That is, if the parachain becomes very successful, you can have multiple parachains that interact to each other, right? And that is very, very powerful, right? And Polkadot's technology in itself it offers what any other L2 can do and a lot more because it's easier to communicate with other parachains. It's easier to communicate with other consensus systems like Ethereum, right? So it really offers like a wide range of tools without compromising in absolutely anything and actually making life for developers easier, cheaper, uh, and a lot more scalable for their own business needs. I think that Pokerer for me is, is really one of those things that makes a lot of sense. It's really thought from the ground up into what the actual needs of a true Web3 space has to have. And, and it allows for the Web3 spirit to actually leave and become a, something real. We also need to set the right expectations on that these changes don't happen from one day to another. They take time, they take dedication, and we we'll get there, right? So I'm very, very confident that Pokero is in the right way. We're gonna get there and that it has all the tools that it needs to keep on going forward. So I'm very excited of, of what the future is going to bring and very excited about what the present already delivers and I'm here to keep on going.